uh, financial support from the Republican Party yet, um, because we have a primary. I'm fighting it out, and uh, I intend to win. Okay, let's talk about the primary then. Why are you a better candidate than Jay Townsend? Neither of you really has terribly much money. Neither of you has any name recognition, and you're going up against a guy who is the third most powerful person in the in the New York State Senate. You both want to, that is. I am right. Well, let's say this: I'm a highly decorated CIA officer that led on the front lines in the war on terror for two decades. I'm a best-selling author. I'm a, sell I'm, I'm a businessman. I've got my own company. I've done and I've led. Mr. Townsend's a very decent man. He's a polite man. Uh, he's ran political campaigns, uh, you know, some for Democrats, some for independents, some for Republicans. He's free to, to primary if he wants. I will march in enough to people and defeat him on the 14th of September. I'm a better candidate than him because I've led. I've been an actor on the, f on the playing field. He's been in the bleachers his whole life. He's been running other people's campaigns, which is fine, but, you know, sort of advising people and actually being on the field and doing things are two different things. Well, you know, all together. Okay, let's assume that you do win then. Chuck Schumer is sitting on two, uh, $20 million worth of campaign cash plus. You have got $50,000 in debt and $63,000 on hand. How do you go up against that kind of Goliath as a David, if you will, like yourself, an unknown candidate well, with I'll, no money? Well, well, first off, I'm not completely unknown. Uh, you know, I've, I've done over 200 shows on television, on CNN and Fox. I'm a best-selling author. I've sold a couple of hundred thousand books. Uh, people here in New York know me. People on Long Island and my base area know me. Uh, I am building a force around the state. By the time this is over, I'll have at least 20,000 volunteers. Yes, he'll have $20 million. But re remember, uh, you know, uh, Mayor Bloomberg spent almost, what, $300 million against uh, a Democratic candidate who only had a million, and he only won by 2 percent. Money's not everything. Okay, 4 percent. Uh, but it's not a whole lot when he spent 300 to 1. True. Um, I, will, I will bring a force out onto the ground. If you look at Missouri the other day, what was the vote in Missouri? 71 to 29 against Obamacare. Mm. Senator Schumer is a major proponent of this. Senator Schumer is a proponent of failed policies, economic policies, border security policies. All of these things land at his feet. He is in grave trouble. We will defeat him. It's not going to be me alone. It'll be me and 20,000 people. You actually had an interesting press release out the other day regarding the immigration bill that was just recently passed by Obama or signed into law by Obama. You said that you actually took credit for pushing Chuck Schumer to support that. And you still believe that's true? Of course. Look, Senator Schumer is the subcommittee chairman for immigration, refugees, and yes, border security, that disaster of border security. And I've been hammering him for the last month. And of course, to inoculate himself, he just helped pass a bill for $600 million to hire another thousand agents for the border. He does this at the last second. He does this in the last 90 days. Where's he been? He's been sleeping for the last 12 years. Uh, Senator Schumer is a proponent of open borders. Senator Schumer doesn't have a problem with the fact that we have a superhighway of narco traffickers and illegal aliens crossing our border. And he's a proponent of comprehensive immigration reform, which is going to give citizenship to 15 to 20 million people in an effort to change the demographics of America. We say no. And the, uh, I and many others are going to come out and we're going to defeat him. The other issue that you've been pushing him on hard is the mosque. Obviously, the mosque has been now nationalized, a national issue because of President Obama's statements about it. You say that not opposed, which is what Senator Schumer has said, is not sufficient. Why? Well, of course, look, Senator Schumer is no different than President Obama, who voted present. You know, he present a couple of hundred times when he was in the, in the uh, Illinois legislature. I mean, he